guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're having an awesome day it's gonna be a whole lot better soon because today we're gonna be doing another <gasps> foundation first impression I have heard so many things about this foundation a lot of really good things so I'm really excited about it <laughs> I say this every time I know but I hate not having my skin done but having all of this done no be trying the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer, and I grabbed the color 2 Natural. Um, I think we're going to be good with this color. I'm really hopeful about it, um, but I've heard really good things, and Milani is honestly one of my favorite drugstore brands. Um, their Prime Shield Primer I already have on my face. It's my favorite go-to primer. I literally wear it every single day. Um, I've been trying to avoid watching first impressions about this foundation just because I really want to base it on my own opinions. Um, but I think I've actually heard really good things. But we'll see for ourselves. So if you don't know anything about me, hello, I'm Alex. Um, I have oily skin if you follow me. Um, a lot of people I know that follow me have similar skin. If you don't, that's fine too. We'll still see how this goes. Um, but I am oily, I am acne prone. Most of my acne is under control with the help of my dermatologist, but I do still have a lot of scarring. I have a lot of uneven texture and tone. So I'm someone who really likes to cover everything up. I love a good, full coverage. I also really don't like having to use concealer before my foundation on any spots. I just like a full coverage by itself, get it done one step. So the claims of this are medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free formula, long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof. Um, so I have a nice long day ahead of me, so I thought it would be a perfect day to review this. Right now it is 9.30 in the morning, so um, we'll see how long this bad boy lasts. So this is what the packaging looks like here. Cute little pump foundation. I thought we would apply half my face with a brush and half with a beauty blender. We can kind of see, uh oh, this might be a little dark, but hmm. This might be a little dark, but I feel like we can blend it and uh, make it work. Blending it around my face. That was only one pump. A lot comes out in one pump. So let's go ahead and blend this side in with a brush. This is my go-to foundation brush. It's the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. Um, it's amazing. It's like my go-to foundation brush. Well, okay. <laughs> Girl, boy, this foundation has amazing coverage. Oh my god. Like, I feel like I can just keep blending it because there's so much. Like, a little bit goes a really long way. Um, also, how much was this? I want to say this was like around $10. Like a standard drugstore foundation price. Little eyelash. I just, not eyelash, I just tweezed my eyebrows. After I tweeze my eyebrows, I always have like little hairs floating around everywhere. Oh my god. I mean, it's definitely like a tiny bit dark, but you know, I don't think it's, I don't think it's too bad. Oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh my god. If this lasts all day, oh my god. Like, look at that coverage. It cut, like, look at all of this. And this. What? What? <sighs> I'm in love. I'm in love with this foundation. So I'm gonna try to take like a third of a pump because you really don't need much of this. And we'll see if we like the Beauty Blender better. So the consistency of this, it almost feels, it's not like super liquidy, like not like Max um, Face and Body. It's kind of just like a the Revlon Color Stay or the MAC Studio Fix, Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, maybe a little thicker than the Double Wear, but uh, it's not super drippy. It's kind of like between a cream and a liquid. Honestly, it blends out beautifully with either method. But a little bit goes such a long way. Oh my god. This is actually giving me like major Estee Lauder Double Wear vibes, and that's like my go-to every day I have a long day foundation. Um, this might be a good dupe. We'll see how long it lasts. But, oh my god, the coverage! Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Like, I feel like I haven't even been even filming that long, and it, like, took no time. So it definitely feels really light on the skin. It's not one of those foundations that feels really heavy. So that's really impressive. I really love the coverage with that lightweight feel. Sometimes to get this, like, gorgeous coverage, like, you have to use, like, a thick, heavy foundation. But it does not feel that way at all. Um, 
I don't know how it's looking on camera, but in real life, it's flawless. Like, it just covered everything. It's like a beautiful matte satin finish. Oh my god, so smooth. And I think, I think we blended enough down the neck to kind of make it work. Like, it's a tiny bit dark, but yo, it's almost summer. No, it's not. I'm hopeful. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and speed up the process of me doing my makeup. So if you want to watch, um, I'll do it really quick. Sped up. I'm in love, I'm, I'm in love with a go-go. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be the heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind. I wanted to let you know on my lips I am wearing ColourPop's Beeper today. Such a pretty nude. Um, so yeah, guys, like I am so in love with this foundation right now. Like my skin just looks so smooth and flawless in real life too. I know sometimes on camera um, like makeup can always look a little bit better because I have a ring light here. Um, but in real life like this looks really really good. I'm so impressed with the coverage of it. It's just smooth. Like everything is just smooth and covered. Oh, there's nothing more annoying to me than putting foundation on and still being able to see some of my scarring come through So I think the concealer in this is really pulling through for me um, <clears throat> So it is now a 9 45 So I'm gonna go ahead and start my day and I'll do a couple check-ins throughout the day and then we'll wrap this up tonight I just had way too much fun on snapchat um, Yeah, so anyway, I'll see you guys in a few hours. Hey guys. <laughs> Let me prop you up here Not in my normal spot um, <laughs> So what time is it? Um, it's 3.45. I've had the foundation on for six hours. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually having a really bad day. <laughs> like a really bad day. Um, and I ended up crying with my friend and now I don't have eyelashes on. I just tried to like fix my makeup. Um, but for the most part, my foundation stayed intact and I haven't touched it up. Just my eyes and my under eyes were a little messy. So I just kind of cleaned that up for you guys right now. Um, I didn't want to tarnish uh, this whole video because of my crappy day. Um, so yeah, the foundation is looking stellar. Let me get my mirror. Um, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Like six hours and I'm not shiny. Let me get up close here. Um, there might be a little breakage around my nose, but that's just from, um, crying. So looking a lot better looking amazing i am loving this foundation so far it still feels really good the coverage is still there it hasn't faded or um it hasn't gotten oily it's just looking absolutely amazing like this is so good and i mean six hours is great so i want to see how long it will stay this good hopefully no more crying today so um we can continue to test this out 
but uh yeah i will check back in later all right guys i just got home and took off my eyelashes <laughs> i wasn't even thinking about filming this this little end review guys this foundation is amazing look at my face it is almost perfect wow i'm so tired it's really late right now i've had the foundation on for way over 12 hours and i'm so tired but the foundation is incredible um i checked it multiple times throughout the night it's so smooth i'm not oily like it looks <laughs> like <clears throat> just as good as this morning um literally this is just as amazing as double wear so it looks like this <sighs> it's so good like look at it it didn't even settle that much in my nose and i've had it on for like i don't even know how long like 15 hours i don't know i'm so impressed with this this is going to be my new go-to and it's super affordable i'm in love with it um anyway it's late i'm tired uh let me know what other foundations you want me to review and i'll see you next time